your cards came out, I was like, whoa, like that's so cool. So you got the Fool card, which I love in this deck because this is about a whole new start. This is about painting things or creating things the way you want it now. And with this card, it's a very special card, actually. I believe it's the cover. No matter what way you look at it, the all the eyes are looking at you. They're on you. Um, so you can do anything you want and you can paint whatever picture you want, whatever fresh start you want, and it's all going to work out good for you. Um, this is the card of change of viewpoint, new ways of seeing things, and a fresh outlook. So I'm looking forward to seeing what your reading is about. If you'd like to join me on Patreon, there will be an extended. And if you'd like to book a reading, everything is below. So just give me a moment to pull your cards, Virgo, and we will get right into this after. <laughs> First card, the devil. Oh my gosh, we're, we're getting into it. Okay, let's see. Wow, this is a, a very strong already. Give me, give me a minute. Thank you, Sandra, for this deck of cards. It's a new deck, and I am loving it. I think it's called the, the Tarot of Dreams, if you're looking for the info. Wow, oh my gosh, wow. Wow, 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 Virgos. I'm guided to pull your clarifiers first before starting. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just going to... I like to just pull one, but we're going to do this. Wow, we got three doubles here. So we're going to see what else comes up for this last card here. Okay, Virgo, let's get right into this energy and see what's coming up. So the first card is the devil. I mean, you are leaving something uh, because look at, I say that because the door is open. It is time you have left or you are leaving. To be honest, what I'm getting, Virgo, for some of you, it is a very controlling, I'm hearing narcissistic, and I don't use those words whatsoever, but a female energy, um, but I heard the word narcissistic. I do not use that terminology, and I won't dig into that, but I'll just put it out there because maybe some of you, someone's initials may be M. Um, or D even here I'm seeing. So that's really interesting. Uh, with the seven of wands in reverse, I feel like the, there was an opening, like, because the eight of wands is next. It's really cool. Um, there, there was something that was blocking you and it is now, look at how that door is open, right? Like now you have the ability to free yourself and to go towards either a new country, I hear property, interesting because the next card is the palace of wands Virgo, and the way these cards are there's four extra cards and palaces talk about real estate so you would describe where you're going to be going and this is actually one of the best energies for the real estate it's like having a beautiful sunset and sunrise wherever you're going to go um, it's going to be very welcoming energy it's going to be over the top so you're probably leaving a home, possibly going to another home with these strong energies here, especially with the five of coins. This is about the energy of someone leaving a home, right? Finally deciding to leave. There's only one person here, which is really interesting. And the next card is the four of wands. So this is about going to that new home. This may be what you'll be painting in your picture. This may be your wish. Um, you are, you're getting a new start, right? You have the full card here. So let me just take a second because I'm actually feeling very uh, overwhelmed right now for some reason. So this may be a big thing for you. Um, this may be an opportunity you never saw coming. This may be something you only dreamed of, you know? So let me just, sorry, I just have to like rest there because I honestly feel the energy of a little bit of anxiousness and I don't know, a rumble in my belly, right? So yeah, there's an opportunity. There's a door opening. Now you're literally transitioning from a controlling energy, possibly a female, possibly, um, I'm going to say Cancerian, Scorpio, uh, Piscean. It's just possible. It doesn't have to be. It could be a mother. It could be someone you trusted. It could be someone um that presented themselves as loving, but they were actually a blockage, okay? You may have found something out or 
I don't know. I feel like something happened and now there's this opening. Now, some of you may be from either Russia or Canada is what I'm getting here. And I mean, that just came in. Um, I'm also seeing that there may have been another person offering you love, Virgo, that you were turning down because you were in this other situation. Um, you may have thought you're never going to be able to leave. You're never going to be able to get that perfect home that you wanted or have that perfect sunrise and sunset and view and happiness. And what else I see here is there's definitely a karmic situation that you left, Virgo. 100%. Sure, someone could have the initials JB uh, because that's in the cards here or TA as well. This is something uh, divinely guided for you, Virgo. This is like an offer from the heavens. This is also, I didn't mention karma here. Okay, I didn't see karma or justice or anything. But this is um, a reward, a karmic reward for the pain and suffering. I mean, it's almost like you're getting compensated for whatever. It's like if you were tied up somewhere I don't know like if you got wrongly accused of something you're getting released plus compensation some of you may have been in jail and you are finally able to get out something has been cleared maybe your name has been cleared maybe you fought for this and you're finally able to get out I feel like you're finally able to go towards somewhere or someone that was offering you love if you want that You know, I feel like you were under con the control of someone else having to take what they were giving you. Meanwhile, you had your mind on something else, on some, on another location, on another person that brought happiness or at least like gave you stability. But you had to conclude something first. Now, this may also be saying you're leaving that perfect home. OK, because we do have the five of coins and we do have the ten under here and all of that. Regardless, you're still moving to the four of wands. Okay, let's just put that down so you can see that. Um, so you may be leaving what people would call the perfect home. It looks so great. The sunrise, the sunset, or the outside, or whatever it was. We thought that was the perfect situation. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, you knew the truth. Misery, sadness, despair. So here we have you following your guidance and leaving the home the emperor and the five of coins with the high priestess. You are leaving an energy of someone that was controlling, whether they're a woman or not. I mean, you could be the woman here and you could have been loving and giving tons of love and the other person was controlling you or blocking it or doing something negative with that, not accepting it. Um, anyhow, now you're painting your what you want. You're getting what you want, okay? And the universe is here to help with that as well. So let's get one card here. Or Virgo, please. My and my anxiety, my anxiety has now dissipated, but that was interesting. So moving on, talking with friends, happily single, having fun, living in the moment. The sword and the roses, clarity, truth, uh, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. I feel like you're real, really realizing that wherever you were. Um, you're getting the truth of it, though it may have had some happy happiness to it or some some great, you know, maybe it was desirable. Maybe some people would look at it and be like, oh, I want to be there. I want that. Um, no, the sword and the rose, it's like the good and the bad energy here, right? And it talks about getting clear and realizing like you're better off single is what I get here and starting over getting what you want. We will clarify more in the extended if you want to join me. Otherwise, um, you know, I thank you so much for being here. But look at this. We have the moving on. And with the energy of choosing wisely, I think you were patient before you actually moved on or before you're about to move on. You were patient to just make sure you make the right choice in the direction you're going to go. Um, maybe you had to search for that perfect home. For yourself or figure out how you were going to do it but you actually have the moving on card with this message it makes complete sense okay so if you would like to join me in the extended where i will ask where the heck you're going <laughs> what's what's this for of wands um hopefully it's to you know union with someone that you care about 
after having such a dark situation. But anyhow, I really appreciate you and I look forward to doing more readings like this. I'm going to be doing it in sequence for starting with Gemini for a day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and I will be posting them later on in the day because I'll need time to edit and all of that. I also will have extended and you can always book a reading. Just make sure you read what you're booking first, please. And I have a new time frame of a 48 hour wait unless you're booking an emergency reading. Okay. So bye for now, Virgo. See you.